Hi folks, today I would like to introduce you this pedal device. Sometimes you just need a special USB device for your computer. As your feet are always free, we wanted to have a pedal device. The pedal device can act as a keyboard or mouse, depending on your needs. In our special case, we wanted a device that can send mouse clicks by pressing the pedal. For small USB projects, we have a nice tool called DigiSpark. DigiSpark is like a little brother of the Arduino, but it is especially useful to build cheap USB devices. Very cheap DigiSpark clones can be found on online stores. Please note that you can find very detailed description of the project by following the link on the video description down below. We have added a variable resistor to have some control on the device. We have bought the pedal online. To disassemble it, you need to loosen the screw and push out the shaft. It comes with a useless piece of wire that can be easily removed. As our project will use low power, we are free to use any kind of wire laying around. For example, this old school telephone cord can finally find its place. We also have added a small piece of tubing to act as a band protector. For the case you can use any kind of plastic box laying around, but as we have a 3D printer we have printed one. First the DigiSpark board was mounted on a piece of hardwood. This will add some weight for the box, so it is less likely to tip. Then all the connections are to be soldered. The potentiometer was mounted on the case and the case were closed. For the software part, you can directly upload the program to the device from the Arduino interface as far as you have the following steps done. Have the appropriate firmware installed to your DigiSpark board what is in all the cases done in the factory. Have the DigiSpark board manager added to your Arduino IDE. First we have uploaded a code that helps calibrating the potentiometer values. It will be type in the current analog values read from the potentiometer. After that the click code was uploaded and we are ready to roll. The current program we are using for the device is a kind of click hack. It will send repeat clicks. You can set the CPS speed by adjusting the knob on the device. Please do not use this solution in online games as you will likely to be banned. But more importantly, play fair. That's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.